Broadcasting from Mabula, Kuwait. This is the Me and Larry reality video show. LTL Editorial News Week in Review July 19, 2009. Well, this is the junior date of day 200. We're going to reflect offer from day one to 200. Starting with when President Barack Obama was sworn in office. That's January 20th. The world watch as he swore in. He had a big crowd on hand and on TV he had over millions and millions of people watching. It was a high rating program for the president to be sworn in, the highest ever of all presidents being sworn in, U.S. presidents, that is. From there to the year of plane crashes, started in uh, January 13th, where the birds got into the engine of a plane and forced and have it to crash in the Hushin River to the Yenina plane that took off from Paris, France and ended up crashing in the, uh, somewhere in the Indian Ocean and in, uh, they say Monteroni uh, area killing a, a, at least 153 people one survived from there you had the bailouts the bailouts from the big financial institution to the car makers AIG end up taking their little bailout money and give it to their executives which uh, drew a red flag which brought those guys into court along with the car makers of uh, GM, Chrysler, and uh, from there, here they are, they came out of jet planes, which drew another flag, and then it was a part, yes, they got bail out money, and then the G20 summit, of course, kind of helped everybody else out, giving them, giving the International Monetary Fund one trillion dollars, which gave it to gave it to the banking institution, which uh, had those criminals, the creditors, to get their hands out and got it and get zero interest for their loans, which uh, caused the common people like you and you and me to uh, pay more money to them just like the U.S. Educational Known Services which uh, the Revenue Corporation, General Corporation is the henchman. Yeah, they got their money and no interest, but what about the common folks? Oh well. But anyway, also there was earthquakes that happened 2009. Earthquake from Indonesia to Honduras. They could have gave a little hint for Manuel Zanella to just leave then when you get earthquake, not when it came down to unrest, which I will explain shortly. Of course, the big news story, and it's forever a news story, the Iran pre presidential election to have Mahu Hazajani uh, re-elected, and it was controversial. Protesters came out, and then to have the supreme leader who had his hands tied, I guess by the president or by his own law, which is of uh, the Kamani, and uh, to say you can't go out and protest, and people still protest daily. 
especially after the Friday prayer service with the former president, Raza Johnny, came out and said the people have a right to voice their opinion. And they came out in thousands. Stay tuned. It's not over yet. And then, of course, the unrest, not only in Iran, but China. In that area, in Zainlin, uh, the Muslim community, they had an unrest there. They had to bring out thousands of uh, troops to uh, stop that. Also to Honduras, where they got rid of, guess who, that crooked Manuel Zilela. The man who likes to sell drugs, the man who likes to buy arms, the man who likes planes to come down so that he could serve them well. He was found guilty being ousted, and he's begging to come back. All that unrest, well, you're not coming back, so take it like it is. And then again, there was the two biggest trials, the one from the Austrian uh, father who inset his daughter and, and kept, her, kept her in the basement for all his, her life and had babies from her. And he, and he pleaded guilty. Well, he did at one time. But from there to Bernard Madoff and his swindle of uh, a millions of people, well thousands of people, for millions of dollars. So what's what happened with, uh, with Joseph Fritz, which is the, uh, the man from Austria, they should put him in a cell with fiberglass mirrors so he, and have him strip naked so he can nick at his self and see how nasty he is. And for Madar, he needs to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And then of course, the death of celebrities and icons, major celebrities, from uh, David Carradine, Kung Fu, to the icon himself, Walter Conkite, and don't forget the king of pops, the greatest entertainer ever lived, which is Michael Jackson. All those icons that passed away, along with Fair Fawcett, and along with uh, Ed McMahon, so those are the stories up to the Julian date of 200. This is LTL Editorial News for July 19, 2009, signing.